Hey, welcome back. Look, Strayed was like right outside. And I was a little surprised at that because I don't know what happened last time, but he's here. Now he's got his little stick out and he said something last time I was trying to talk to him. And well, oh, he's saying it again. Most peculiar soul. Very good. Very good indeed. Unusual souls produce unusual spells. <laughs> They do. <laughs> they do produce unusual stuff. <laughs> I, I tried to be really dramatic there, but can it? <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna let my character creeper look over the uh, the top. Like, what are you buying? Or in the immortal words of RE4, what are you buying? So, okay. I just I want to spend. I, you know, I just got paid, finally, and I just I want to spend my money like it's gonna rot. So, this looked cool. I already looked at some of these off camera, but. Yeah. One of the pyromancies devised by Stray, the great mage of ancient Olyphus. Great flames envelop and emulate far away foes, so it's not like emulate where you burn yourself. I tested that, and it didn't even do a lot of damage, but then I just realized I was testing on something fire resistant, so I need to test on something that's not fire resistant, because I test on those uh, those little weird, like, boily uh, guys that just, you know, hung out in the water in the shrine. And I just remembered that they're fire resistant because I was hitting them with like fireballs or like fire orb or whatever and did like 70 damage. But when I hit something else with it, it did like 200 something. So we're gonna buy this. We'll test that. I don't have dark magic or I don't have my faith up, so I can't use these hexes. I didn't realize that that fucking pursuers takes three slots now. That's that's fair. You get eight shots though instead of like what'd you get before like two? I can't remember. Oh my god. I mean, for that kind of that for that deep of a requirement, that makes sense. Though I think this is like poison mist for fog or for dark. Yep. Okay. So I kind of want to buy both of these. I'm not going to quite yet. And since we always know where straight is now, we're gonna buy something. I was looking at these. I thought about getting this. I don't want to pay the stat requirements for that. With while boosting my intelligence, that's gonna be too much. I felt this was kind of troll worthy. The armor merchant has the smelter's armor too, so maybe I can take a peek there, but I already looked. This looked interesting. I don't have the, the faith to use this, and I'd have to put like nine points into faith or something like that to get it up, so. You know, it was kind of cool. Didn't feel like it though. Then, what else? This looked interesting actually. Oh, it's a dagger. Dagger Forge from the Soul of Mytha. Mytha, the Baneful Queen, cut of Potent Poison. Ooh. Oh, I see it. Okay. Derp. Mytha was the fairest queen in the land until something unhinged her. Was it the poison found deep within the earth or the passion that consumed her heart? So we're going to... Actually, let's look at this. An Ultra Great Sword for, Forge from the soul of the Smelter Demon. Interesting that you forge something from a demon who forges. Or smelts, rather. Oh, it's got a special strong attack? I'm reading ahead. Let's Let's actually read this. Its blade bears the strength of terrible flames. Yes, it does. A latent power unleashed by strong attack. It probably shoots fire. The earth spouted fire, and a beast arose from the flames. The short-sighted king was incinerated by the creature in one swing, and his castle devoured in a sea of flames. That's kind of cool. I, I like when they do the lore in the these games, but like you never... The lore seems kind of light so far, so I'm not quite sure. I already looked at this. Oh. We're gonna, uh, let's see. I wanna buy this. Because it's a halberd, it does magic damage, and I'm right there on stat requirements. So, halberd of the Dragon Riders, King Vendrix Royal Guard. A highly versatile weapon that can slash, sweep, and thrust while, when wielded nimbly, and is also imbued with magic. Demands great skill of its wielder, and thus serve to test the worthiness of those who aspire to join the Dragon Riders. I think the Dragon Riders need to aspire to be me, because honestly they fucking suck. And they got annihilated, so. That's interesting. Just damage. Two prong spear. There's a couple other things. There's this twin blade, that look pretty cool. This chariot lance, I would not, I don't know. I'm surprised that bleeds, of all things. Like, you think this thing bleeds, it's, it's all like rippled and all that, but. We'll buy most, if not all of these at some point, but. I was getting those things first. I should get this, huh? Oh, it's a short bow. Or, like, it's got short range. Or is it a great bow? No, it's not a great bow. Okay. 
That's interesting. I like how Dragon Rider's like the biggest joke boss, but he's got like the coolest shit. So, I don't know. Oh, that's right. We can trade boss souls for weapons. Or for spells, rather. Heavy homing soul arrow. That'd be interesting. Eight uses. It's kind of whatever. Soul shower. I haven't seen... doesn't look like I can do anything else with their soul, so I might buy this. Hurls a huge soul mass, which splits into smaller souls that rain from above. Interesting. Requires real talent is difficult to handle. Only works in certain places and against certain foes. That makes me not want to use it. I want to get this. Because you get three... Three casts instead of two on Poison Mist. That's kind of whatever. I want this. So we're going to get this. You know, let's look at it first. A fringe pyromancy of unknown origin creates a, a powerful cloud of Poison Mist. The poison gradually erodes the target's body, inflicting damage all the while. Whoever created the spell did not believe his enemies deserved a swift death. And we will... And Rohan will answer. That's, I always think of that like when I play ESO. Because we'll... Uh, we have some toys now. Fever. Strayed, I bought from you, dude. Do you really think you can manage the glories that are my spells? <laughs> manage. Oh, well. Because when I didn't buy anything from him before, he's like, oh, does the like strength of my spells deter well, you or something like that? This is a most charming well, you haven't said this yet. Very good. Very good indeed. You said peculiar before. My power is yours. Let it serve your desires. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna fuck me. Like I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff and then you're gonna like try and kill me. Drang Lake. Is that what they Okay, you okay you said that. The cursed ones were imprisoned within this land, of course. Wait, what? You came of your own free will. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. Shut up. No. In the cursed one. <laughs> I will do what the fuck I want, Strade. I will hit you. Let's see. Oh, I really need to find out where Gavlan is. Cause I want to buy. I just want to buy poison arrows out the wazoo. I need to find out where that one dude is. The uh, that hero guy with the the moonlight greatsword. Someone in one of the comments said that the one he has is fake. So, I don't know. Um. That means, where's the real one? So I'm wondering what's up with that. But, let's... We'll buy a level. We'll buy a couple levels in a sec. Especially that one dex point. But I don't want to come and see... What is over here? This guy just being a lazy ass. Huh? Go ahead. Oh, he's got the Saldora robe, I think. Go ahead, come at me, bro. Now he's got the Smelter Demon set. I'll say the same thing, but armor of the smelter demon, great mass of iron that was given life, higher fire defense. The old king was possessed of a great bounty of ore, but was incinerated by a creature that rose from the infernal depths of the earth, and apparently one shot him, according to the sword. And the looking glass knight. I thought about buying this. Like it's slightly heavier than my Vengarl armor, but then it's like, what's this? Elva? Have I got I've no. I might you know what? Do I have that? I might buy this. Because it's lightweight. I need to start... I'm about to start using a heavier weapon, so I need to be aware of my, uh... My weight. <laughs> I gotta go to Weight Watchers. Like, oh, what gear can I use? Count my calorie points. But, anyway. Armor worn by the Looking Glass Knight. Made of metal, but has high lightning defense. Those who wish to serve the king as royal warriors must take the king's passage and face the Looking Glass Knight. Those who fail the test are sacrificed by the merciless specular monstrosity. It's interesting. There was in math today. Someone made Thanks the best pun. Do come again. Oh, thank you. You're not you're not a complete dick. Um, one of the math problems is we were talking about how a tree like fell over to create like a right triangle or something like that. So we were trying to figure out how tall the tree was, and this guy. <laughs> The first part that was funny was the teacher was kind of cracking up when she was talking about it for some reason. I don't know. Like, she never usually laughs, so it was kind of weird to see her laughing about that. So we are all trying to kind of figure out what was going on. But some guy made the pun that needed to be made, and he was my hero today. When my teacher was talking about the tree, he said, oh, that's... He called it interesting. Like, put tree in interesting. And I started just chuckling. Chuckling to myself. I found it hilarious. Where's that fucking... 
I, I can see that, Michelle. Oh, looks... Looks cool as hell. Oh, it thrusts on the second attack. That's probably what that other thing did. Whoa. We're gonna use this. Oh, fat rolling. That is not... That is not okay. 70... Uh, that's why. Weight's too high. Oh, you know what? We bought this, though. We we planned for this. Adam, we were smart. We got a different armor. Where's the... Where's the... Graveborn top? Falconer... I could use this, but it has no poise. It's got really good defense and lightweight. Can go back... Nope. Oh, I can't go back to that. Where is... I thought about just putting on, like, an actual... Did I put... I did put that on. This just looks cool, I think. Like, it's it's really simple, but it looks really cool. I remember saying that. Okay. This is actually... Oh! It's like the night set with, like, some cloth graphics and stuff. It's, honestly, it's not too bad. I actually kind of like it. I like look... I always like looking lighter weight. I like lighter weight gear. I always like to look lightweight. So... I just want to poise that. Can't even tell. At yeah, what, 15... 39? Oh my god, there's a lot on those. I have 39 poise. I don't know how much I'll actually resist, but it's better than having zero poise. Technically, I have 42 because of my stats. So... Okay. What's up, girl? Until hope. Apparently I had an SS flash shard, by the way. That's why I have 10. Like, I didn't realize that when I was talking to her off-camera. I gave her one. Oh, he's got this. <laughs> that looks... Oh my god, I gotta get the helmet. I have to buy the helmet on one character. It looks hilarious. <laughs> Just, you look like a little fucking ram. One, two. Okay. Like how that poison bonus just jumps up. What's my weapon jump up to? Oh, I can officially use it, so it jumps up to like 300 something. That's cool. Yep. I don't have a special R2 attack with this thing. Like, I'm hoping the Moonlight Greatsword has, but. This thing is a lot faster than before. In Dark Souls 1, if you whiff with the, uh... With the halberd, you kind of sit here like that, but it felt like it was a little longer. So you had to be really accurate. But with the... What appears to be direct hit system in this game. You know, like having sweet spots on weapons and all that, so it looks like... Probably hitting them. Like, correctly is gonna matter. So, I mean, it's going to matter, but... It's probably gonna be a little tough with this thing. That's okay. Okay, why is this... Is there wind there? That's why. Yeah, hold on. Can, can I do it again? <laughs> okay. I'm glad it doesn't bug out when it does that either. So let's see if we can upgrade this. Shut up. No. I feel like buying, like, all of his weapons and seeing if he sells new ones. At some point. Maybe when I get some, uh... Oh! This chick. Shut up. I'm <laughs> telling everyone, everybody shut up. She... You've been... Well... She sells new stuff, too. She sells these. She has, she's only got a couple, but she sells them. So. No interest. Wait, no, I should talk to you, huh? I'll provide one. You see that blacksmith over there? Is he one of those hollows? He seems to keep eyeing me up. He sort of looks like my father. He's a blacksmith, too, you see. The poor man's such a worry -wart. Okay, we've heard this. Shut up. When I was looking at her, I always think it's weird. Like, she looks older. Just because her neck... Like, her neck is all stretched and her skin's, like, mashed together. But I guess when you come in closer like this, she's a little more rendered. But from far out, she looks really fucking, like, old and nasty. No interest. And, like, the size of her boobs does not match her body. I'm sorry. That's... just <laughs> It's unrealistic. Come on, FromSoft. What? You just came, you bitch! Like, I'm sorry. Where is... Yes. Pet what? Oh. Um, I've gotten this to drop too, I think. Ooh, look at that first upgrade. Oh my god, 30 damage? Like 30 on the physical alone? Holy shit. <laughs> god! <laughs> yeah, too hype for no reason. Titanite shards. Is interesting. What is that? Where's that? Yes. Titanite shard? Really? Mmm. Mmm. That takes twinkling, yeah. I found, thankfully going through the shrine and killing those caster bitches, I found so many, like, twinkling titanites. I found, like, six, something like that. I found a lot. 
that's interesting. There's a lot of cool gear. There's so much gear in this game. Like, there's so many more specialized weapons, and you, it's not more fo- Because in Dark Souls 1, it was just like, you got a couple different types of each weapon or whatever, and you could upgrade them on paths that you wanted, and then there's like boss weapons. In this, there are so many different weapons. That's, that's actually kind of crazy. So it's, yeah, we're gonna definitely... Oh, man. Can you go for two? I plan to use this for, like, ever. So, actually, I don't... Mm. I want to upgrade it one more time, but I'm not going to. I think that this doesn't outdamage my mace yet either, but I got the range. That's kind of why I want it. So, we'll wait. I'll be around. Let's see, let's put it... Let's check my mace. If I switch... 160 to 106, or it's 20 or 262, and that's 282. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm not a. Uh... Wait, is that less? Is that voice damage? Damn it! So it's more poise damage. Oh, cool. So I'm losing about 20 damage, but I mean I could take care of that in one upgrade if I really wanted to. I'm not going to yet. We found a bunch of okay. a bunch of these while I was running around, so I'm gonna go spend those two. Why do I have two of these? Weird. I think I have an idea. When in doubt, always throw. Um, I think you could. Could you trade the pendant? I can't remember. We're gonna trade one of the petrified somethings because we have two of them, and I'm just gonna throw it in there. I probably should upgrade my armor now that I think about it. I might. I might go and do that. Go, go, give it. Shut, shut, shut. Shut your mouth. Okay. Shop one of these. Leave. Yeah, yeah. Tighten it. Ooh! Thank you. Go, I'm gonna go, save the other one, me. but thank you. Human, thank you. you, you I mean, it it sucks sometimes to get something like that, but yes, I Give definitely would like them. Da, da. Just because I don't know when I'm gonna need more. <laughs> oh, you do like them. Here, take more. Because they seem to be a little more da, scarce da, than humanity. Da, da. Crack red eye orb. You, Especially you, because humanity... You, you. Since the enemies spawn indefinitely, yes, you could always you. just farm humanity yes, off shit, like you. the rats or the... Uh, da, da. The human sp uh, spirits. Oh, thank you. Like later on, so in the DLC, when I was playing ESO, I saw some guy named Black Dragon Calamine, and I started laughing. And it was fitting because my mage, I named him Sage Frake the Visionary. So I was happy to see all that. But oh, I was telling something before, like when I was talking to Strayed. Oh, I can't remember. I knew I was gonna forget it. Damn it. Oh well. Bleedstone. I don't need that. Whatever. I, I think bleed sucks in this game, like, so far. In Dark Souls 1, like, you could get bleed by hitting them, like, you'd hit them, like, three or four times, and that'd be bleed, like, direct hits. And in this, it seems to go a little slower, but then again, I don't have a lot of dex bonus either, so maybe that's what's up. So, I'm gonna go look and see if I can upgrade this armor right quick with a couple shards. I'm hoping it just takes, like, Titanite shards, and then I'll just put a couple in there, but... Yeah, I want to get a little more defense on this, especially since we're not going to have as much defense. We lost like a hundred and something defense by taking off Vengarl's armor. But I'm hoping that'll kind of be levied by putting some, uh, by upgrading this with some Titanite shards. No. Really? I have two of these? Well, fuck me. This is why I need Gavlan, so I can fucking sell my stuff. Oh, look at that. Like, it's much lighter weight. It's like three pounds lighter, but the same poise. And it's better on... Uh, it's not quite better on the defenses, but... I've... Like, I'm, I'm tired of looking at that. I wore the Elite Knight so much before, so... I'd like to wear, like, this Jester crap, because... What do you get here? Elfwise? Oh. What does that mean? Like, do you not get... Um... Do you not get backstabbed, or is there like no bonus damage from it? And then that's cool. Okay. 
Okay, was I... Ah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice shard. Thousand, can I get two? Can I get an amen? Since I think Titanite shards are infinite now. Get a couple, there we go. That was like 20 defense, so... I'll be around. The defense matters a little more, it feels like, than before. So, that's cool. Alright, we spent 20 minutes talking and running around, let's actually go do something. But, I, I like having these episodes in between sometimes, where like, I just kinda explore stuff and I get to like, open chests and buy things. I love buying things in these games, because upgrades feel so rewarding, and you have to make like, really critical choices. You can't just buy whatever the fuck you want all the time. So, let's see... Okay, I don't know what's up here. Actually, it looks like this doesn't go anywhere. I think... Let's get the chest before we do anything. I said I was going to. Let's do that. I see bloodstains next to this fucker. Okay. I mean, I'm trying to roll. No? Magic arrows, so... Thank you. So what do you guys think? Door? The door looks very serious, and... All that, so let's just go up the tower. But the tower kind of feels like the checkpoint, right? Because it's... Because you got the bonfire, and the bonfire means progress usually, too. So what? We got two doors. What about three doors down? I don't know many of their songs, but pointless. Because there's nothing. Do you have to... Is that why there's bloodstains and shit? I want to read that message, but I'm afraid to. Okay. Oh! Guess what? You know what? Fine. Fuck you. I'm gonna read this, I'm gonna jump off this bitch, and I'm gonna use the frickin' bonfire, and... <laughs> can't do anything! Oh, you know what? JK. I could read it from up there. So... I, I like our spell selection right now. It's more... I'm trying to use, like, the heavy Solero and stuff like that because I'm more concentrated on not sucking with melee. And when I fight, like, a boss or something, I want my spells to count when I hit it. You know, so, like, if heavy so or great heavy Solero does, like, an extra 20% damage or something like that, that means, you know, for every four normal Soleros I fire, or whatever, like, you know, it equals, like, another one, something like that. I mean, you know the math. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, you know what? Before I do anything, before I do, before, B-A-E, because I at first thought that that was like some kind of, um, abbreviation for babe or something like that, because ghetto ass people can't spell, but the, I think it means before anyone else, but I'm thinking before anything else. We are going to explore, because there is a couple of illusionary walls that I saw, and the video edits. I'm trying to remember where a second one is. I remember specifically this one. I think there's another one nearby, but I can't remember. So I'm going to have to come back for it. I'm hoping I find them all on my other character and all that, so I know where to go. Where are those dogs at? What's up, dog? Ooh! We got the spacing, too. Okay. Spacing's kind of forgiving. I th I'm pretty sure all three of those were direct hits. Wasn't it? What? This asshole. It's a illusionary wall. Damn it. Okay. Why does it look like just black, pitch black? Like there's no sky animation. Now there is, but that's kind of creepy. How do you get up there? I need to get up there, man. What's going on in here, real quick? I, to fetch it. I gave you an ember, you fuck. Dick. Can I infuse my halberd? <gasps> I could put... Enchanted? No. I could put... Where's where's magic? I could put even more magic damage. Oh, kind of... Uh, never mind. It kind of cuts the other one. I could put poison. I could put bleed. I could do all kinds of shit. Mundane. What's this do? It takes off like... It's weird. Cool. So, oh, I could put... 
you lose you seem like you get more of the like of the specific damage like it feels even though it splits a third it's gonna I'm gonna have three damage dice so that's gonna be so shitty but be gone. I think the best one to do would be to make it magic or enchant it. No, magic. Because it uh, it sucks, because, like, the, uh... What's the scaling on this? C? Like, three Cs? And if I... If I made it enchanted, it would be E-E-D. Like, that's that doesn't make sense. Like, that kind of stuff's weird. Oh, shit, what is this real quick? Stand up! Chance? Whatever. Okay. Let's go pop that door. Oh, we already popped the door. I'm stupid. What, horse? Legendary wall. Oh my goodness. Try hole. Try your hole. Nope. None of these. None of them are illusions. It sucks because you can't just hit them to go. You have to, like, actually fuck with it, so. <clears throat> I can't even see. I should grab the torch. Frame rate smoothed out by doing that. It's a smaller space. I like seeing this game in 60 frames. It's actually pretty cool. But it, it was really charming. I hate using that word, but it was really charming in 30. It's a long-ass elevator, by the way. Trying to see enemies on the ground. No, they usually don't put enemies like right next to elevators. Not usually, so. Destroying lake again. I mean, that makes sense. Like, you escape through the hidden passage, you go through that little shrine, then you come back down into it. So. Okay. Let's just say I heard sounds, but I didn't know if they were my feet. It's just dark. This is, this is creepy, man. The dead crib. <gasps> okay, they've been talking about this place. On like a lot of the items and stuff. What's my weight? What's my equipment at? My percentage. Why is it not show? Oh, it's the bottom dirt. 62? I thought it was lower. Does it say I see you item? Can I open that? Looks like I. Oh, maybe I need an explosion. Somewhere. Or maybe it's on this side. Try left. Okay. Well, they didn't really need to give you a bonfire here, but you know what? It saves time with that elevator. Let's see. Is this the last place, I wonder? It might be. be interesting, because if it ties in, kind of, to uh, the first game, it would be like... This is kind of like the uh, spoilers, the place like uh, Framp takes you. So, that would make sense. And if I feel like I'm getting to the end, I'm going to go back and like... Use my Pharaoh's lock stones and shit, because I need to. I need to. Uh, I I need to use. Oh my god. Torch. Oh, why am I? But yeah, the uh, torch ahead. By the way, friend. Are you gonna attack? You just can't show him. You look like you're trying to fight me. I'm just gonna leave you alone. Illusionary walls? No? Oh, is he gonna follow me? That would be hilarious. I'm gonna, you know I'm gonna let him. Oh, no. Please, no. It's okay, dude, I got it. Oh. It sucks that you can target him, though. I think that's just to, like, trick you. Oh, fuck that. Aw, oh, pursuers. They have little faces, that's adorable. That's just cute. I like having this giant-ass Albert on me. Damn it. They don't have a lot of life, but... It just sucks that they, uh... got magic. Like... Yeah, uh, magic behind him, so... I don't know if they can attack him, he's technically an enemy. Mm 
I gotta be careful too, because I have a big sweeping weapon and all that, so I don't want to like turn around and hit him. I'm trying to pick this guy off real quick. Oh, you got so much life. I need Gavlan for uh, freaking poison arrow purposes. I kid you not, I would go and farm up like 50,000 souls or something like that, and then just I would farm up as much as I needed to get a thousand poison arrows. really close. I like that they have little faces though. That's like the cutest thing in the history of ever. Is that you did? Oh. That's like crystal soul mass on meth. Because it just or like soul mass on meth because it just goes and flies. Like from Hellfire just whoa. Yep. I don't know who else is in here, that's why I'm trying to like I'm kinda wary. Oh, I knew it. Oh, that thrust, that thrust follow-up, that was really nice. Because even if I screw up the uh, the first hit on the sweet spot, and you can tell I did like half damage there, so that's kind of that's kind of scary. And even if that happens, being able to hit them back, like to thrust them immediately for like a couple hundred, that's actually not bad. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to get through this. I don't know if I need the Ring of Blades right now. So I'm kind of thinking I want like that dark defense or something. I don't know. Oh well. I mean, we're right next to a bonfire, so why the hell do I care? I don't need to play it too safe yet. Oh, did that? Did I take damage from that? I couldn't tell. I kinda have the spacing down already. Ooh, fuck you and your lightning. I kinda have the spacing down, and then I immediately don't have the spacing down. Oh. You guard crush me. No! Bitch. And drink my mini. Oh my god, these are like super mages. Is it the strongest spell? We have it. What do you mean? I have like lightning, and then I have pursuers, and then I have firestorm. Me. Ooh, yes? Thank you. Like, this was something to farm up, man. Take some of the faith requirement off those hexes. No. 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 Ooh, look at you. Ooh. The overhead. Cut with the high low. The 50 50. Okay, do I need to. Ew. Like, I don't want to be in this oil. Oh, shit. Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Mm -hmm. Are you just, you're stuck? Okay. Really thought I hit, there we go. An illusionary wall, but it's okay. I know, I'm just, uh, I hate knowing that, that. I have to, like, click and test every single wall now. Because there's a few things I miss, like, you saw bonfires? And potentially goodies and all kinds of stuff. But it's the nature of it. We're all for victory. That wasn't too bad of a stretch. I mean, I had to heal once, but it wasn't too bad. I think I checked that one already. Let's see. My footage is really bad. Towards, therefore, dark ahead. Do I need. Be wary of torch or death. Dark required. Oh. Bye, dude. Torch, of course. I mean, I have a bright personality, so I can't really change that. I don't know if he's an enemy or what. What? 
Damn it. Tricking me. Are you gonna fight? Do we do the fighting now? There's two of you. There's three of you. Do you guys wanna fight? Like if I don't produce light? Okay. It's like, can I take your stuff? Do not produce light, but you're free to take our shit. Oh, look at you. Straight out of Castlevania. I am Agdane, guardian of the crypt. Countless dead rest here in peace, cradled by the comfort of dark. Light only agitates. We have no need for it here. Okay. I am a finito. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me by the one who gave us the first death. Hmm. <laughs> first blood. Countless souls rest here. Some of them from ages long ago. Some were rich, others poor. Some wise, some dull, but now... They're all just dead. Well, this is Nito's place. I guess that's the catacombs. And Tomb of the Giants, because Nito's the first Did of the dead, I think. Him? The one called Fendrick. Is that the king? It is. You will find him deeper inside. So we're close. Many castle servants and the like have come to fetch their lord. But they rest here now. Put to death by the king's own guards. Perhaps he's not in the mood for company. Interesting. In the past, humans were one with the dark. The former king of light, he feared humans. Feared that they would usher in an age of dark. How queer you humans. How you go on. Never separating truth from fiction. Interesting. This place is welcome to all. Provided due reverence is shown. Death is equitable. Accepting. We will all one day be welcomed by her embrace. Tell me what you desire. Show me reverence, and I will lend you my hand. Oh, clearly we have to learn this gesture. Have mercy! So, the Age of Dark that they're talking about is in Dark Souls 1, where the first king, I guess he's the first king, but Lord Gwyn was Lord of Sunlight, and he feared that humans would end the Age of the Gods, but the Age of the Gods was marketed to the player for the most part as the correct thing to do like you're like oh I gotta save you know everything and keep everything at, like the established order going and it turns out that the perceived evil ending which is not linking all the bonfires and keeping the gods in power and all that is probably the better ending because you give the power back to humanity at least that's how I took it shield insulin oh that's it's not a shield I'd probably use do you have anything else? Oh, you have a lot of stuff. Insolent. Okay. You just have gear. Ooh. Ring counterattacks when damage is taken. What? God of struggle? Why can't it be God of the struggle? Because that would be even funnier. The ring spikes drive into the wearer's skin so that each blow taken fuels spikes towards the perpetrator. When damage is taken, the ring retaliates and inflicts damage upon the enemy. I wonder how much. That's interesting. <gasps> Damn it. Oh, thank... That's a random number to have, is 13. I guess it's supposed to be unlucky. Soul Spear, we already have that, but we could probably get another one. I'll probably buy these. That spell's hilarious. It reminds me of Frozen Orb from Diablo. Or Diablo 2, rather. Because it, it just shoots a ball that just throws, like, souls around it in a vortex. It looks really cool. Okay. I am a finito. This yeah, I've talked to you already. Somewhere in the past. Before. Okay. Quick. Crude human. So I need light to get in there. Is it like uh, the DLC where you need light to open certain doors? Oh man. 
I'm going to take a peek in this room and I'm going to have to end the episode as much as I don't want to, but I'm kind of getting to time and I also have to... Oh, we got a fog door. I have a... Uh, I got to go to work, so... No. Oh, fuck you. Come on, dude. Are you trying to pull me up to your boys? You can't find me by yourself? Look at this. Come face me with my other venerable knights. Oh. Oh, that hit me? Are you kidding me? I was... I apparently was not blocking. I thought I was. I just want to see... <laughs> Oh god. Yes. Yes. Best backstab. Best backstab any. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So this is like the Tomb of the Giants for the most part, but it's not nearly as bad. Like, Tomb of the Giants was far fucking worse. You couldn't see two feet in front of you, and there's no torches and shit. It was... it was bad. So... Okay, we did stuff. And... Let me go back to this bonfire. And so, next time, we are going to... Oh, I don't really want to rest, because I have to kill all that crap again. So, you know, I'm just going to stand here. So, next time, we're going to hopefully get to the fog door and see what the hell is in there, because this place is actually pretty cool, and I think we're near the end. I can't imagine that we're not near the end of the game, but this game is much longer than I anticipated, so that's really cool. So, yeah, look forward to all that, and bye.